In this series of videos, you will learn how to use the IACUT module of eSurvey Water. Welcome to the video about how to prepare the drawing file in CAD using the IACUT module of eSurvey Water. In this topic, preparing the drawing is explained in detail. Each survey boundary within the village boundary should be represented as a closed polygon. Similarly, each survey boundary within the chalk or DP needs to be represented as a closed polygon. For each of these polygons, the respective information should be attached. For survey boundary, you need to attach survey number and village name. Chalk and village boundaries should be stored in separate layers with its name. There are multiple auto lisp commands which will help you prepare this data. To start with, you need to have a base map which has all survey boundaries defined. To make the program work, AutoCAD entities you create need to be in specific layers. Using a set of Lisp commands shown, you can prepare the required data. The process for preparing the data is explained in detail in the following section of the video. First, you should keep all survey boundaries in vSurvey layer and survey numbers in VS number layer. Each survey boundary should have a unique number and the same survey number details should be available in RTC data. Preparation To create the required layers for IACUT module, you should use LSAY command. This will display information about each layer which has to be created. Run HPLY command. This is a quality check command. It will identify possible errors and hatch polygons to find boundaries yet to be created. Run SMM command to select maximum and minimum value from the selected elevation text. Run MSN command to find the missing and repeating survey numbers. Run AVSB command to attach survey number to survey boundary. Before running this command, each survey boundaries should have one survey number and survey boundaries to be saved in vSurvey layer and survey number to be saved in VS number layer. Run ATV command to attach the village name to all survey boundaries belonging to that village. After running ATV command, select survey boundaries and enter the village name. Run RTV command to read survey number and village name of the selected survey boundary. Run FEVS command to find errors in the survey boundaries. When errors such as survey boundary is not closed, no survey number within survey boundary is found or more survey numbers in one survey boundary are found to occur, the respective survey boundary will be marked with a hatch or circle in the survey boundary. Run SAREA command to find the missing and repeating survey numbers. Run CRAI command to find missing and repeating survey numbers. Using a combination of these commands, you need to prepare the drawing which has all survey boundaries, chalk boundaries and village boundaries. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, you will learn how to prepare the sub-chalk and chalk boundaries.